Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. Today we're going to do something just a little bit different, off the wall crazy, or we're going to do a whacked out bluegill purse. So uh, let's just jump right in here and get her done. So the first color we're going to be using is a bright yellow. And we don't need very much of that. Got a little bit on my finger there, but that's all right too. So uh, we're going to start with our bright yellow and we're going to thin it out. And uh, today we'll be spraying with a Iwata HPCS brush. And uh, going to be using uh, five different colors on this bait and we're going to wrap it and then we're going to come back over our wrap with a metallic black so uh, you know what let's just boogie and get it done oh there's our yellow got the air pressure set on about 18 pounds so let's uh see if we can get her blowed on here We're going to start on this belly, and this belly is going to be yellow on this bait. So let's heat set that, and we'll throw another coat on it. We'll move on to our next color. If you're new to the channel, welcome, folks. Uh, my name is Charlie, and this is kind of what I do for fun: is to get out here in my shop and paint lures. So I'm glad to have you. So there's our yellow on our belly. So now we're going to clean our brush and we'll move on to our next color, which is going to be our hot saffron, which is an orange. And it's a folk art paint. Uh, our bright yellow is actually a uh, deco art paint. So we got that all heat set. Now we're going to mix our orange paint, our hot saffron. And, uh, we don't need very, very little of it. That's more than I need right there. So now let's throw our hot saffron on there. I'm standing it out just a little. Good mixed up. We need about maybe three drops of this. That's probably about all we're going to need. Come in here with this orange right up on that belly. Right just barely in under that gill. So there's our hot saffron. Right over our yellow there folks. So well, now we're going to clean our brush up and then it starts getting kind of odd and unusual and you know you know how people are so and i might even change this and make it a sicker color but you can't ever tell what i'm going to do next chris will tell you that so today i got chris filming my videos for me because my wife's busy everybody say hi to chris and chris say hi to everybody Chris is a young fella, and he's learned a lot from an old man like me over the years. We've been pretty much best friends for over 10 years now. Yes, uh, in fact we met about 10, 10 or years, 11, 10 years, 11 ago. years ago this week. This week. Yeah. He hadn't shot me yet, you know, and he's not mean to me like other people are. So, yeah. well, sometimes he is. 
your wife was one of the only brave ones to show up at Melinda's Christmas party because I was gone. Yeah, you don't scare me now. I'll whip your ass like a step child, son. Uh, your wife was the only one not scared of nothing. <laughs> My wife ain't scared of nothing but run, me running out of coffee or Copenhagen. You should know that by now. I have a pretty good wife. So it's going to be her birthday here in a couple of days, folks. Uh, down in the comments below, wish her a happy birthday. She didn't get no uh, drone yet, but she did get some stuff that she wanted. I just took her and turned her loose last night in the store and said, get what you want, I'm paying for it. And you said it was her 62nd, right? No. I'm not saying how old she is going to be because I, unlike you, value life. Well, I'm not saying how old she really is. Then I die. Man, you kind of nuts, Chris. Wow. You folks, I got it right here on record. I did not have nothing to do with that. She scared me too bad. So our next color we're going to use is an apple barrel. And this apple barrel is called Lime Tree. So we're going to be start blending it up in here. And we'll put a couple of coats on it. And I'll go from there. This is just going to be something kind of crazy. And everybody that knows me know I'd fish it. You can't ever tell what that fish is going to bite. So. Let's uh, get our paint sand out here and we'll blow it through with the brush and uh, this is going to be kind of cool. It really is. I think you folks will enjoy this paint. I know it's fun painting it. Of course, you know, according to Chris, I done lost my mind anyway, so. So here goes our lime. So what I'm going to do with this lime is I'm going to spray the whole rest of this bait with lime. Okay, folks? And I don't care if it blends down into the yellow. I don't care if it blends down into the red or the orange or any other color there. I just, it don't matter for what I'm doing here. So, let's heat set that right quick and... Uh, Let's throw us another coat on there. Because this is going to get coated over again. I'm just going to spray whatever's in my brush out on this bait, folks. There we go. So we are now progressing towards that old finish line. There we go, folks. We're fishing to put some bright colored paint up on this bait. Y'all probably all think I'm just done and lost it. And you might be right. I've been pretty busy at work. Hadn't had a whole lot of shop time this week. So we're going to get some today. So let's take some of this blue and let's make some of that head blue. And let's come down here and just make it like that right there. Make that blue like that. And uh, I don't want it the same on both sides. So. Just kind of like that, folks. I'm just doing my own thing here. So, let's uh, put the old heat set on that and we'll throw another coat on it. Cool. There's all of our blue put on that bait we're going to use right there already, folks. I know y'all are thinking that I done lost my mind, but you hadn't seen the end result yet, so just bear with me. 
But you lost it a long time ago. Hey, nobody asked for your opinion. When your opinion is needed, your wife will give it to you. Wait, when did I get married? Well, I don't know. But you need to get that way. Okay, so we're going to let this dry up good for a few minutes and then we're going to come back and uh, put a wrap on it and put the final coats on it, which is going to be a black FX paint. It's an armor metallic paint. So we'll be back shortly. Clip it up good and tight. Round on that bag. I'm going to clean just a little bit of this excess off here. Okay, we got it wrapped up pretty good there. So now on to the next step. The black. Oh, it's gonna have black and yellow. This is our FX paint, and it's kind of a metallic black. more than we need. The only thing I don't like about the FX paints is they don't come in smaller bottles like these. So, Other than that they're really good paints to use. So let's thin that out just a little bit. Cadium yellow which is a different than the bright yellow couple of drops now come here Bob give me a stick so about all we need is about five drops there folks we're done with that one we don't need a whole lot of that okay so let's heat set that There's our patchwork perch. Hello folks, we're back with our patchwork perch. Redneck done, everybody thought he done lost his mind. So we got bright yellow, cadmium yellow, blue sapphire, lime tree, hot saffron. And we used an FX metallic black. Uh, we did it on the S crank. And we used number six mustad hooks. Folks, this is one bad dude right here this bait is already sold it will be leaving so if you have any interest i'd be glad to uh paint you one just let us know uh 
this bait left yesterday before the epoxy was even dry on it. The guy come by and put claims on it. So that's it. That's my patchwork perch, ugly dog style. And then that's a that is one of the prettiest lures that I've ever done. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh it was such a fun time to paint it. I had Chris filming for me and we was drinking and we, we were just having a good old time. So, so folks, it, it finally happened. The funeral happened. It happened this morning. I'm sad. I had to bury my hair dryer and I got me a new one. So the funeral was at 9 o'clock this morning. I buried it out in the yard. So there it is. We'll see if this one works good as my old one. So remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel and hit that notification bell and hit them thumbs up over there and help my analytics out just a little bit. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. And uh, if there's anything that you have questions about, just, just please drop me a comment below and let me try to answer it. You folks have a blessed week, and I'll catch you later.